Yeah, definitely. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to open this, but I want to take the Shane Gillis ones and throw them over there. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> He's the star. Who's the star? You're the star. Yeah. yeah you know, I, I I saw a video of you doing this, and I feel like you're kind of like comedy's Nardwar. So. Man, that's so dope. Thank you. No, thanks awesome, for man. Me on the show. Thanks this so much. A dope show. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Thanks Read so the cards. We'll see you later. Thanks so much. Okay. You don't want a picture? Okay. Well, it's all. Not sure if this is really happening tonight, but at the freaking like municipal airport. And then there's a little brewery next to it, and that's where the open mic's supposed to be. And it's a Friday, so I don't fucking know. We'll see what happens. Vermont. No, New Hampshire. Lab. West Lab. No, Lab. Lebanon. His last name is Bacon. First name is David. And let's give him a big round of applause. He drove all the way up here from the UNH area. <laughs> Do you guys like fight? Do you guys Who has more guns, Vermont or New Hampshire? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. <laughs> you guys. Can you, like, it depends on where Vermont you are. Uh, there's. Uh, you come here to shop. Yeah, because if you're from Vermont, yeah, you have a lot of guns. <laughs> you have to to protect yeah, your drugs. Right? Yeah. You ain't going out strapped. There's like a, a bunch of rules, I guess. I, I I can't talk about certain stuff, so my sets changed quite a bit from what I was expecting to do. But that's not. I didn't know. Well, I can't talk about certain stuff, but I kind of want to just do that. If like someone like starts an airplane outside, I just want to say the most offensive things and run outside and jump on the airplane and fly. Say offensive things. Yeah, just do it. This is a good yeah. crowd for it. What's no. gonna happen? Yeah. Offend us. Well, I can't. I gotta. You know, I can't. Yeah, I've like never the, been here before. So. We like the dirty shit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't. It couldn't be dirty. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk about dirty shit oh, okay. once I get like settled in. Too complicated about a device to play the set. Too short. <laughs> Sometimes I have this problem. <laughs> so I guess I'll stand. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, Tom, I think, is hosting. He just said a little bit ago. It's like this is like the last thing you want to hear at a comedy show. He goes, "All oh, kidding aside." <laughs> Was the kid? Uh, I said the rules. Oh, and uh, who here is not like with a comedian or a comedian? Like, hands up if you're not. Have you're just like so? Yeah, okay, like Friday night, uh, free comedy show. Cheap date. <laughs> it's an open mic too. It's like cheap and not good. <laughs> Like if it was like a free, you know, good show, that it'd be like, you know, okay, fine. Look, I know a secret, like, you know, someone says. Mm. <laughs> good evening. My name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking, ladies, <laughs> uh, gentlemen. Three's company. Not a crowd. At least that's what the TV taught me. My ten minutes tonight might be too meta for this. Uh, well, I usually say young crowd, but mm, young crowd. <laughs> I mean that uh, useful. <laughs> Everyone already knows the best suicide joke, but they don't know it's a suicide joke. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? You killed it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not like a funny thing, but it's like a okay. I know where his mind's gone, okay. He's looking at things a little differently. This is new, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Man. Humans, like as a group, uh, seem to think they are like the shit. Like we're so cool. We're the humans, we're like top dog. We're better than the animals. Oh, here's gonna be a dirty part. We even got rid of the uh, penis sheath. Like, we're different. But do you think other animals, you know, do you think like other animals think they're the shit? I bet they do. Like birds, they gotta be like, you can't even get off the ground. And I can just shit on you whenever. 
right? Like they're like, you fucking dummies. They didn't like masticate, that's cool. Food sharing, yeah. Uh, like the deers probably think that too, and we think of the deers as like, you know, they're gonna get caught in a headlight. I can say dirty things, you don't have to go. Uh, <laughs> no, you can go. <laughs> There's plenty of time for dirt later, ma'am. See me after. Uh, so like the deer even, they probably are like, you know, like, they look at us and they're like, yeah, you got no head game. You got that, right? Because they have antlers and head game has a... Double entendre? Another meaning that's dirty. Wow. Right? <laughs> yeah, so you can. And the insects are like, yeah, F you. My name's Neil. I'm like in the matrix. Your hands are so slow. You know, like... They must all think they're the shit, like we do. We're not the shit, like it, Mostly they gotta be like, you freaking humans are so needy. Like you can't do anything. You need so much stuff to do anything. All the other stuff needs nothing. Like we, we gotta be wrapped up in clothes. We got tools, we, they're like, we don't need any of that. Right? We're not the shit and we're finding out. It's the sad part of this. <laughs> okay. Abortion. I don't want to pick a side, but when push comes to shove, there's always the stairs. I got two kids. Could have been three. Man, I can't do the Jesus stuff. Do you think like uh, people have a bunch of tattoos? Um, like when in kindergarten weren't allowed to cut, so instead they just chose the color. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna explain it. <laughs> you get it, you get it, you don't. Maybe it's bad, maybe you don't get it, don't matter. Different crowds, different things, you know. Cap, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Capitalism. I'm willing to exploit, and I hope I'm exploited less than you. Capitalism. It starts with a C and it rhymes with imperialism, now chauvinism, fascism. And then I have a tag, but I... Mm, this doesn't, this won't make sense to you guys. Every kid complains about fairness. It's the hill to die on. It's ironic when the carnies come to town, if they actually die. Sometimes I have to like wait a long time between things and then like, maybe. It's really fun to just sit in front of the art museum and know you are the true work of art. <laughs> like is that conceited or do I think like the art's so boring and you know, it just sits there like, oh wow, you can't do anything. <laughs> like dancing around. Some people seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. And then I remind them, you eat ass. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you do, but you might. And so don't fucking judge me on my food choices. It's, it's cleaner than your butt. Well, plus, you've got to, I mean, you've got to get way up there to really fucking hit the home runs. The rim's fine, but you know. So, uh, over 50, it's a prostate. You know. I love outdoor city single-use public restrooms. <laughs> I saw one once where the lock was broken. But there was a sign that said, please knock. This is true, this happened in Portland. It's outside the art thing. It was fun to just sit in, this part's not true. It was fun to just sit inside waiting for those knocks. <laughs> To which I would reply, come on in! <laughs> and I would like to sing and do a little dance. Uh, hey, you boys in the skin. <laughs> a yabba, a dabba, a doo doo. So cheesy. Oh, uh, 
I'm, I'm just gonna be, uh, this isn't, this isn't political. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens, but they're fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. So it really doesn't make any sense, does it? That's wasteful, not conservative. And then once the most pleasurable part of the mail has been removed, they seem surprised. Some dudes move on to number two. We were talking about that earlier. It's usually themselves. I mentioned that other part earlier. Um, that's one reason why I'm thinking of having, uh, I think I have a light. Or he's very aroused with his, it's like a dog dick. It's like a dog dick, that red fucking thing. That's that circumcision thing, why we want to look different. That's one reason why I'm thinking of having foreskin reattachment surgery. Plus, losing it really hurt my feelings. I would come to find out. So I just need a donor. Because those baby foreskins just won't cut it anymore. Or sew together very well. I won't do the next line. Or maybe we could just dock. What's up? Is that a yes or no? Okay. I, my time's up, so I gotta go, but uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, for my... Thank Let's keep it going for David. Yeah, I don't know what it is tonight. Everyone's uh, traveling from near and far, so uh, because our next uh, Comedian. So tonight, yeah, our first show is October, Saturday, October 19th here at iFidelity. Free admission, suggested donations. We have a banger lineup. Your question for this round, New England Jeopardy, number one, people from New Hampshire call this a butler. What is a butler if you're from New Hampshire? Please, please welcome your next comic, David Bacon! Hey, there he is. Yeah, Hello, uh... Hey, buy a shirt from High Fidelity. Woo! Um... Uh... What? Dude, don't think what you... The, 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 something with the bees or the flowers? Clearly, you pick flowers because there's all these like uh, I don't know if you're a witch. There's all these dried I don't know. <laughs> the bees, because they're dead, so you don't need the bees. So clearly, clearly. fuck the bees are good. <laughs> Which bees? Be <laughs> <The> Arthur. <laughs> That was something new, here's something old, there's something blue. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens. Yet they're fine with... Jesus. Well, <laughs> yet they're fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. That's wasteful, not conservative. <laughs> So why I said Jesus, so you could say God. And then once the most pleasurable part of the mail has been removed, they seem surprised. Some dudes move on to number two. But if you get way up there, then surprise. But that's one reason why I'm thinking of having uh, foreskin reattachment surgery. Plus losing it really hurt my feelings. I would come to find out. No. <laughs> I just need a donor. Well, it's, 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 yeah. and I, to get a donor, like you can't just uh, like say I'm a guy. You have, you know, because uh, those baby foreskins just won't cut it anymore. Or sew together very nicely. But the lamp I made is fucking, the lampshade, I guess, is beautiful. <laughs> or maybe we could just dock? <laughs> yeah. 
What's up? I guess that was a no. Either way, I think I'll knit myself a little headband or a turtleneck. Keep warm. Winter's coming. You know, I was adopted. I didn't know my foreskin and I would also be separated at birth. Yeah, a lot of like uh, male uh, open micers talk about their dick. I'm talking about not my dick, the part that's not my dick. So it's different. Mm. Yeah, okay. Thanks, BM, that's birth mom, for short. Abortion was illegal when I was born. So she named me, cut off my fork. Well, she had someone, I guess, like the doctor guy. I don't think, you know. And then waved goodbye. <laughs> now I've met and known my uh, BM for many years. But I thought the funniest thing to do would be to ghost her. So I'm not our ghost baby. I don't have a good line there. It's ghost adult. That doesn't. I need something there. Right? No help. Okay. I thought this was the workshop. <laughs> when I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted, but uh, now it gives me a lot of street cred. You did time in prison. Big deal. Not only was I institutionalized at birth, but I did five months, five months, solitaire, just hanging in the crib, behind the bars, just hitting the bottle multiple times a day. Plus, uh, you know, since uh, we're not uh, related, I can tell you that my mom was a MILF. Not really. Okay, that's the end of those uh, types of jokes. Uh, everyone already knows the best suicide joke, but they don't know it's a suicide joke. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Fucking A. Oh, brilliant. Uh, uh, <laughs> You don't like it? It's good. Huh? It's good. Oh, okay. Uh, I got the light. Uh, um, I can't do my Jesus stuff. Man, you got a sneaky ass. <laughs> Jesus don't want you. Oh my God. David Bacon, everybody. Thank you, David Bacon. This is your second category of the night, New England Jeopardy. Your second question. If you're from Vermont and your wife brings home a creamy, what is it made of? What is a creamy in Vermont? There it is. If you're from Vermont, you'll know what a creamy is. C R E M E E E. Or two, sorry. C R E M E E. What is a Vermont creamy? If you're from. Hell yeah. Well, Alright, we got three more comments for you guys tonight. Let's, uh, let's give them our full, you know, table talk to minimum. Let's clap it up. Make some noise, everybody, for David Bacon, everybody! How can you, uh, this is from a conversation I had outside, but they're not here, so whatever. Uh, how can you be alive if you, you call yourself a nihilist? Right? Nothing mad. Something you have to continue. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment, surgery for teens. But they're fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. Yeah. 
That's wasteful, not conservative. And then once the most pleasurable part of the male has been removed, they seem surprised. Some people I'm distracted by laughter. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Boo hoo. They seem sort of they seem surprised some dudes move on to number two, usually themselves. If you get way up there, then, you know, surprise, but... Yeah, lick the rim. But if they're not hitting the uh, prostate, uh, what are we doing here? That's one reason why I'm thinking of having a uh, foreskin reattachment surgery. Plus, losing it uh, really hurt my feelings. I would come to find out. So much we could play like pinball. Because those baby foreskins just won't cut it anymore. Hey. <laughs> or sew together very well. But that lampshade I made is pretty cool. Maybe we could just dock. Oh. Oh, what's up? That seems like it's a no. I think I'll get myself a little headband or a coat or a turtleneck <laughs> for warmth. Winter's coming. Younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted. But now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you did time in prison? Big deal. Not only was I institutionalized at birth, but I did five months solitaire, just hanging in the crib, behind the bars. Jesus stuff, but I didn't get to it again. Amen. Oh, I think it's too much. If you pretend to be Christian and give attention and affection and a home to a pet or pets, but not the homeless, but Jesus don't want you. I'm working on a catchphrase. I think that might be it. But Jesus don't want you. I want to do Jesus don't love you, but Jesus loves you, so uh, Jesus don't want you. You know, he's about the humans. Noah was about the animals. I got the light. Thank God for grace. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Woo! Keep it going, David Bacon, everybody! Guys, pop it up, make some noise for Zach Landry, everybody. Um, and his name is David Bacon. If you two are bacon, you got gas. Okay, bye.
people say uh, black people have big dicks? I just know they have soft hands. It's just a prop, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, too bad uh, mommy and daddy can't buy you the penis you want. <laughs> what is wrong with eating cats and dogs? Like pigs and cows and chickens are clean? We only eat the derogatory animals? You pig, you cow, you chicken. I know, I know. Goose egg. Dog! Close up! 
Drinks for me now. <laughs> Is that a yes or a no? Either way, uh, I think I'll knit myself a little headband or turtleneck for warmth. Winter's coming. It's like a in there. You know, I was adopted. I didn't know my foreskin would also be separated in birth. You heard that yesterday. Thanks, BM. That's birth mom for short. Abortion was illegal when I was born. Uh, so she named me, cut off my foreskin, and waved goodbye. Now, I've met uh, my BM uh, uh, and known her for years. But the funniest thing for me to do was to ghost her. <laughs> oh, it's a Halloween joke. I told you that in the beginning. Oh. Did you not hear that? That was the first fucking start. Come on. <laughs> Quick. Uh, I'm not a ghost baby, I'm a ghost adult. I did a better thing there, but I'm not ghost adult. Not, I'm a ghost baby on her. I don't know. Something. But anyway, yes, that is my Halloween joke. I was embarrassed about being adopted, but now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you did time in prison? Big deal. Not only was I institutionalized at birth, but I did five months solitaire, behind the bars, just hanging in the crib, hitting the bottle multiple times a day. And since I'm not related, I, uh, I can tell you my mom is a MILF. Like, not quite as insane, you know. That's a burn to Colby. Yeah, you just roasted Colby. Yeah. Why? He's got a hot mom. Oh, I, I mean, I fucked my mom. I mean, just. Oh. That's the joke there, because I'm not related to her. It's well, not incestuous. Yeah, but, okay. I don't know why step porn gets all the juice. Adopted porn is where it's at. <laughs> Mom, you gave me care and head. Dad, you packed my lunch and my head. Yeah, I'll do the chores. You want A's on the report card? You know what to do. Okay, that's the end of the uh, incestuous uh, Yeah, you should eat cats, because uh, fucking pigs are the smarter than both of them. I mean, they don't have a lot of meat on them, though. Cats. They're a lot of hairy, but you could, if you dip them in this, like, really hot liquid, you could just pull the skin off. I saw that in an old video, like, way back in the day. It would be a face of death. You just drop them in, you just peel the skin off, and then you can just cook them up. Mmm. Everyone loves pussy. Everyone, always know, everyone already knows the best suicide joke. But they don't know it's a suicide joke. Uh, this is the up suspense. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> to get to the other side. Get a stepmom out to drive. Huh? Get a stepmom out to drive. <laughs> stepmom out to drive. No, it's fucking like abortion. Yeah. Abortion porn. That's what I'm into. Spoken. I think that's funny. God, abortion porn. Mm. I'm gonna write about that. Uh, I've got a minute. Mm. You know, uh, Side, but we'll push it up to the shelf. There's always the stairs. Relax, I got two kids, could have been three. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Is this really awkward? <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, I like cute handling. We talked about this. Yeah, this is awkward. <laughs> Sorry, David, you're awkward.
you know, I really like your whole read of the jokes thing and the one-liners, because uh, I like one-liners and I like puns, and it's very fun. Um, you could add to your uh, Halloween joke. Um, you know, uh, when you were talking about how to uh, remove the skin from a catch, how to skin a catch, um, that's how you could do the, the, the surgery, the foreskin surgery. It's already occurred, though. Oh. I thought you were collecting how, more. No, that's not, how, collecting. that's not how you put the foreskin back on. That's how you remove it. That's yeah. what's already occurred. Yeah. I don't need more removal. Trust me. I think we're taking donations. <laughs> well, yeah, that was part of the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> you can call the surgery when you remove the foreskin and you put it on someone else. Frankenstein. <laughs> if you're drinking. Yes. Frankly. Stein. Stein. If you're Jewish, then you wouldn't have a foreskin. I'm really forward thinking. Anyway, David puts me in this mood where I just keep doing that. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, oh, and there was one more that I wrote down. Wait. Oh, yeah. Step mom. I have a joke. Uh, and, uh, I've been making some, uh, some homemade adult content. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, and I was like, let me check out the trends and see people are into these days, you know? Okay. This is the first class service here. What is it? I'm just going to put it in my pocket. What is it? Falling up the stairs. Did you say Conti No, that was it. That's it. Falling up the stairs, I think that refers to uh, Joe Biden falling up those stairs. Uh, I think he was doing the airplane thing. Uh, I've met Joe Biden. Uh, I've met Trump. I've met, I haven't met who's the chick who's winning, who's the Harris. She, she, last time she like went out before New Hampshire, she like left, so I never got to meet her. But uh, Joe Biden, uh, so I met a bunch of these political people, and they, uh, who's the the Massachusetts chick who's smart? Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren is the one who started the whole like take a photo with the uh, politician person, and then everyone would line up and uh, take a photo and get a photo with uh, Elizabeth. So whenever someone gives you an inch, you want to take more. So I was like, oh, what can I do? So I was like, well, if I ask her to uh, wish my kids a happy birthday, because fucking if she wins and is president, and I've got her saying happy birthday to my kids, that's the bomb. So that's what I did, and I would give that to a bunch of candidates. So I have all these different candidates wishing different people a happy birthday. <laughs> but with Joe Biden, uh, I couldn't think of anyone who would want Joe Biden to wish them a happy birthday. For whatever reason. Uh, so I... Uh, he just said, uh, he, I said, hey, uh, Joe Biden, can you uh, just say happy birthday? And so he just goes, happy birthday. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember that uh, uh, Frosty the Snowman cartoon. It was like a little cartoon Christmas time. Uh, Frosty the Snowman wakes up, I think, two times. One of the times when he wakes up, he goes, happy birthday. And that's Joe Biden. Thank you very much. <laughs>
flowers. Um, no, uh, flowers for Al 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 Algernon. Yeah. Um, you can go to uh, Amsterdam and buy tulips. Uh, that's for Aaron. <laughs> District. You can also uh, smoke pot and uh, have mushrooms. Uh, the cool thing about, well, one of the cool things about Amsterdam is it's funny because, like, we think of sex as X, 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 the three X's. But in Amsterdam, pre dating triple X meaning triple X, in Amsterdam, there's three X's all over the fucking city. So it's like a, like a, it's like a, like if you, uh, like at, 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 at Mickey Mouse Land? I think it's Disney World. It's called Mickey Mouse Land, according to... Uh, Tori Slaughter. Tori Slaughter. Yeah. Um, you can like find little Mickeys, they have like hidden Mickeys everywhere. In Amsterdam, it's triple X's. You, you just walk around the city and look for a triple X. Like, honest to God, has anyone been in Amsterdam? No. My time's up. Uh, I really like to buy the tulips in Amsterdam. Twenty bucks. <laughs> All right, we got Mr. Dave Bacon on deck. Everyone give a big warm, real sympathy. Welcome to Mr. Dave Bacon. Woo! Thank you. Thanks for uh, sticking around for your headline. Uh, I see, uh, I see uh, KC, I guess uh, Kansas City is uh, playing on the uh, boob tube over there. Uh, I don't know who they're playing. Uh, perhaps it's the Sunshine Band. Okay. This one is for the uh, ambulance chaser at the bar. As far as the law is concerned, if you don't have money or power, you're gonna be judged by strict scrutiny. If you do, then it's lax latitude. Again, that's for the uh, lawyer guy at the bar. <laughs> this is my Halloween joke. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery in teens. <laughs> Yet they're fine with assigning old baby foreskins to the trash bin. <laughs> That's wasteful, not conservative. <laughs> and then once the most pleasurable part of the mail has been removed, they seem surprised. Some dudes move on to number two, <laughs> usually themselves. But if you get way up there, then uh, surprise. But that's one reason why I'm thinking of having uh, foreskin reattachment surgery. Plus losing it really hurt my feelings. I would come to find out. So I just need a donor? Because those baby foreskins just won't uh, cut it anymore. Or sew together very well. Or maybe we could just dock. What's up? Is that a yes or no? Either way, I think I'll knit myself a little uh, headband or turtleneck <laughs> for warmth. Winter's coming. You know, I was adopted. I didn't know my foreskin and I would also be separated at birth. Thanks, BM. 
That's a birth mom for short. Abortion was illegal when I was born, so uh, she named me, uh, cut off my foreskin, and waved goodbye. Now I've met and known my BM for years, but the funniest thing for me to do was to ghost her. I'm not her ghost baby, I'm her ghost adult. It's my uh, Halloween joke. Everyone already knows the best suicide joke, but they don't necessarily know it's a suicide joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Yeah. I love outdoor city single-use public restrooms. I saw one once but the lock was broken. There was a sign that said, please knock. It was fun to spend most of the day just waiting inside for those knocks. To which I would reply. I would reply Barney Rubble sometimes, but usually I would reply, come on in, because that makes more sense. A bam, bam, I guess that would make sense too. I would, I would wait inside, yeah. Uh, so I'd say, come on in. Then I would sing and uh, do a little dance. Hey, you boys in the scat? We have a, a dab a, a do do. And I have less than a minute, so I won't do that thing. Uh, all right, abortion. We'll end with this. I don't want to pick a side, but when push comes to shove, there's always the stairs. But I got two kids. Could have been three. Thank you very much. Alrighty. You made it through. Yeah, everybody. Hey, you guys made it through a comedy night at Grill 17. You guys been a great crowd. Give yourself a round of applause. Woo! I love Dave Baby going last. I'm on drugs. I truly don't know what I just experienced. <laughs> You're like Nardwar for cards. He goes, oh, wait. He goes, wait a minute. Wait and a then minute. there's one of me and Mike. It was kicking the rat. And now it's there. Ooh. And the cars are all gone. No more cars, baby. That's a rat pancake. A rat pancake. A rat pancake. A rat pancake. <laughs> Y'all just be bugging out, man. Her drawers is green. <laughs> Comedians opening cards, no coffee. Thank you. This is like the least popular the movie camera. in the world. Bacon, and it's, this, comment it's my down. Oh, Do shit.